Hey everybody, this is Matt Bergman. And so to begin the start of the school year, you may want to put in some protocols in place to maybe take attendance, do lunch count, um, things like that, where students are going to be coming in and uh, checking in. You could do this on a smart board, you could do this on their own device. Uh, but one item here I have is this template called Who's Here Today? And they simply have all the names of the kids in my class and they can simply come in, either it's on their device or on the smart board, and drag an animal shape over top of their name to go ahead and to uh, check in. All right, so this is a great way to, at the very beginning of the day, have students come in and do some things. Now, what if you wanted your own names right here. Well, what you could do is you could actually use the template that's attached um, that you see here. And um, I'm, it's, a, it's on the blog post that's attached to this, this video. You can simply go in and you could add in your name. So I'm going to put Matt, um, Tom, John, and uh, Sue. Okay. So now what I can do here is I could actually download this, okay, as a JPEG or a ping file. And when I do that, I can go back into my Jamboard and I can add that background. So I can go right up here, set the background and whoops, see how that changed? I can set the background and I can simply drag this background right here. And now, as you can see, it changes the names on there. Couple things to think about at the end of the day when you're working with students. And let's say, for instance, you want to reset this. OK, if you hit clear frame, everything's going to go away. So what I would recommend doing instead of sitting here and doing undo, 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 is to simply go right up here to the three little dots. And remember, in computer language, Anytime you see three little dots, it means more. And so I'm going to click right here and I'm going to go down to see version history. Now you can see right here, this comes up with what this particular document looked like at a certain moment in time. So if I go right here at 6.47 a.m., what did it look like? 6.44 a.m., uh, here you go. Uh, 6.42 a.m. is uh, this was uh, what it looked like. And so what I probably want to do is restore it to what it looked like at 6.40 a.m. You can name this. So you could name this version. You can say this is the original um, copy. Okay, this will allow you to reset everything back to what it should be so that if you have all this different stuff going on right here, you can simply choose original copy and then hit restore this version and it'll restore everything back to where it should be. Uh, so that's one template. Now, another template that you may want to use is you may want to do this. You may want to actually go in and have a lunch count. Um, so maybe the names aren't necessarily important. So I have put stars here and you can simply drag them and you'll notice that some of them have five stars on top of one another. The other has um, just one spread out here and there. So it allows students to choose some different shapes. And once again, uh, if you hit clear frame, that's all going to go away. So what I would remind you to do is simply go to version history and uh, just go to original copy uh, and that'll reset everything. Okay. Um, now, what about the, the lunch choices? Like, what could I do to add some lunch choices on here? Because, you know, lunch changes each day. What could I do? Well, you could actually go up to the text tool or you could do a post-it note. I'm just going to do a text tool here and I'm going to put in pizza. Okay. And I can just move this down here so that students can see that. All right. Now the shapes, like how did I get the shapes? That was, that was something else that um, somebody had asked is how did I get all these shapes? Can I customize these shapes? Absolutely. You can customize these shapes. And one of the things that I found that was really helpful is an add on called insert icons for docs and slides. What I do is I simply install this in the Google um, slides, open this up. And now I have all sorts of different shapes and icons right here that I can look for. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to look for an owl. I can simply go right here, choose this. Now let me move myself over and then I can hit insert. OK, so when I do that, now I can cut and I can paste it right in here in Jamboard. OK, 
Now, the one thing that I don't like about Jamboard right now um, that you can do in Google Slides, but you can't do in Jamboard is you can duplicate, which is, you know, that's something that's really helpful. But as far as stacking them all on one, one another, you have to manually do it. So there's no um, stack on top of one another uh, feature. So the students, so you would have to stack that on there. But that one of the things I like about this, though, is that if this is what I wanted, then I could simply go right up here to the, the um, three dots, go to version history, and then I could change the name of this to original version if I wanted to and always restore it back to that. So that could be uh, a really helpful feature if you don't necessarily want uh, to use the stars. Now, let's say, for instance, you wanted to use the stars for what we just talked about with checking in. OK, could we do that? Absolutely. You could simply go right up here to set background. You could go right here to image. And then you can take that Jamboard template we just did a few minutes ago, and here you go. Now students can use stars instead uh, simply by just changing the background. I'm just gonna hit undo so we can go back to the last and final one, and that is this. This is, uh, this is the um, uh, mood meter, and so this is a way for students to uh, just check in, see how they're feeling today. And you can see right here, it goes by feelings and energy. So high energy is up here, Low energy is up here. Pleasant feelings are here. Unpleasant feelings are here. So I have uh, a picture of my uh, emoji, uh, Bitmoji right here, and students can simply drag that, how they're feeling today right over there.